New study from the Centers for Disease Control is a sparking concern among local anti-smoking advocates. It shows the sales of e-cigarettes is rising. And what's most troubling, the age group becoming most associated with this. Kelvin Reynolds in Tuscaloosa with more on that. Kelvin, good morning. Hey, good Friday morning to you, Janice and Mike. We was talking about that Centers for Disease Control study, and it basically stated that the flavors, the description, as well as other things associated with those e-cigarettes are making them a lot more appealing to youngsters. Now, according to the study, the sales of e-cigarettes actually grew by 46% between January of 2020 and December of 2022. And during that time, the sale of mint and flavored pre-filled cartridges stopped and disposable e-cigarettes in fruit, sweet, and other flavors increase. Now disposable e-cigarettes in youth appealing flavors are not more commonly sold than pre-filled units. And we got a chance to speak to Nicole Shine. Now, she's the executive director of Pride of Tuscaloosa. A Pride stands for Parents Resource Institute for Drug Education. Shine says they've also surveyed students in the Tuscaloosa area, and they're also troubled by what they found too. About 62% of those students have identified that they know a peer that vapes. So well, for us, the numbers were very alarming, but it's something that we're really seeing a trend in here. Shine went on to say that Pride has recently got a grant from the Alabama Department of Mental Health to go into schools to talk to kids about vaping. That's something they say they plan to start doing in the next couple of weeks since schools in the Tuscaloosa area just recently opened for fall classes. Kelvin Reynolds, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.